mission. He's not going to space this time. He is going to the volcano to look for a very special treasure. But instead, he finds an alien who's very grumpy because he's Never saw visitors. Never saw visitors. He's lonely. And so he's very surprised to see Alex, the astronaut. And they celebrate their brand new found friendship by eating some coconuts. That sounds amazing. Everybody give Sebastian our new author a round of applause. <laughs> now we've got to tell this story properly. Will you join me here? All right. So when you see me do action, when you hear me do sounds, you're right there with me in your mic, all right? And you guys can join in too, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Sebastian's story, Alex's Adventure. Alex, the astronaut, was desperate to go back to space. He loved the adventure. He loved the mystery. He never knew what he would find next. But when he went to NASA head office, he found out a very surprising fact. They weren't going to send him to space. They were going to send him to, dun dun dun, Kino. the volcano. Oh my goodness. And so, Alex put on his heat resistant suit and it went on very snugly. <laughs> With me, right now. <laughs> hey guys, let's put on your astronaut boots. <laughs> and we got to do it by our zipper. <laughs> Perfect. I think, oh, we almost forgot. We can't go without our helmet. Let's put our helmet on. <laughs> Alex also liked being an astronaut because when he breathed, it sounded like Darth Vader. <laughs> and so, off to the volcano he went. He was in search. His mission was to find a very secret, special treasure that the NASA had thought had fallen from space the night before. And so into the volcano. He lowered himself, and deeper and deeper away, he crept through the volcano caves. <laughs> creep with me through the cave. <laughs> He's going to have to oil that astronaut suit. It's very noisy. <laughs> and there, standing on the other side of some bubbling magma, there wasn't a special treasure. No. It was an alien. A really, wait, was our alien really small or really big? What's that? Really big. It was really big. Our gigantic alien, which had his, wait, what color was his skin? His yellow skin, reflecting the, the <laughs> yellow orange of the magma. It looked very frightening. And especially as it turned around with its grump. You gotta make the grumpy face with it, because we're grumpy idiots. I know we're ridiculous, but it's good. <laughs> Who's got the grumpiest face in the room? It's not Sebastian, he's too happy. <laughs> oh, I think you have the grumpiest face in the room, that's fantastic. So the alien turned around, hey, what are you doing here? Did you find a treasure? I never have visitors. I'm not really sure what to do. I, it's been so long since I talked to somebody else. What's your name? Alex. Uh, mine's It's very nice to meet you. I know, you can call me Bob. It might be easier. So what do you want to do? I don't, I, there's no treasure here. I've been here for years with no visitors, but but I do. I have these coconuts. Would you like to share them with me? Yeah. Here you go. Here, you just crack them on your head. <laughs> oh, here you can have it. I'll crack this one on my head. <laughs> oh. Drink up. It's tasty. Glug, 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 glug. Oh. And the alien. His grumpy face turned into a smile. And Alex realized he did find a treasure in that volcano after all. He found the treasure of friendship. And Alex and <laughs> stayed friends for a very long time. The 
Alien. The end!